Historic wildfires are tearing across Australia, causing massive amounts of damage and a massive drain on resources. Now, more Americans are on their way to help. Federal officials say at least 74 fire personnel from the Departments of Agriculture and Interior deployed through December, and another group is on the way. How important is it to have that exchange of firefighters that can go where they're needed? Uh, it's very important. We're seeing more and more fires and the intensity of these fires, especially here in you know, Washington. We've seen them in the last uh, two years and we've required and asked for help from the Australian firefighter crews to come up. Officials say at least two crew members from Washington are involved so far. It's part of a mutual aid agreement between the U.S. and Australia. Most recently, 138 personnel came from Australia and New Zealand in August 2018 to help fight fires in Northern California and the Northwest. The last time U.S. crews headed to Australia was 2010. It's a 30-day tour, a long time away from home, but critical in times like this. The magnitude of these fires really is, it's important for us to help out. You know, us, us Australian crews have come up here for quite some time and helped us with our mega fires, our large, our large, larger fires. And, you know, it's only right that we uh, go down there and we do it. And we have an aid agreement with them to, to make it happen. Michael Crow, King 5 News. The catastrophic conditions in Australia also mean a dire situation for animals there. Some estimates put the number of animals, including domestic pets and livestock, killed as high as half a billion, with potentially hundreds of thousands of injured and displaced animals as well. And perhaps the most famous animal lovers of all, the Irwin family, says they're doing all they can do to help those animals impacted by the fires. Bindi Irwin shared this post on Instagram saying that her heart breaks for the people and wildlife who have lost so much. She says the fires aren't near the Australia Zoo or the Irwin's converse, conservation properties, but said the hospital is busier than ever. Now, the Irwin's didn't say specifically how many animals they've treated, but their website says more than 1,100 animals have been admitted since December. Back